the criminal act. If she's allowed to run, I would be very, very surprised. But if she's allowed to run, honestly, it'll be a sad day for this country because what she did was wrong. And what she did, let me just tell you, what she did was wrong. And other people have done far less than her, and they paid a very, very big price. Okay, one or two more questions. Yeah, go ahead, Jeremy. Where did I say that? Where did I say it, Jeremy? Where, where, where? Tell me where. Tell me where. I didn't say that. Yeah, I'll negotiate. If the wall's going to be 50 feet, I'll take two feet off the wall. You didn't listen, Jeremy. At this moment, absolutely not. No. We either have a country or we don't. We have a country or we don't. We have borders or we don't have borders. And at this moment, the answer is absolutely not. Okay, how about one or two more questions? David, go ahead. Make it a nice question, David, please. I, I think, you know, David, I, I, okay, go ahead. At the end of the night, you may very well have maybe sewed up 10 of the 15 states at this point. Is that enough of a brushback pitch that the, the RNC should just commit to honoring their agreement with you, or do you expect them to welcome that? Well, look, I don't expect. I have a lot of respect for Reince and for the group, and I like the RNC, and I don't know that I've been treated fairly or not. I really don't know. I can't tell you that. But I can tell you that I do respect them. Uh, what I really have is a great number of people. I have millions and millions of people. And when I was watching those broadcasts just a little while ago, before I came in here, because I wanted to see exactly where we were before I started speaking, I was amazed at the kind of numbers. The Republicans have tremendous energy. The Democrats don't. They don't have any energy. Their numbers are down. Our numbers are through the roof. And people are making the statements they've never seen in modern times, a party that was so energized. I think if somebody is doing as well as I'm doing, and I'm not just speaking for myself, whether it me or anybody else, but if I'm going to win five, I've already won five, but maybe it could be six, seven, eight, nine, could be nine, could win nine states tonight. If I'm going to win all of these states with tremendous numbers, and if I'm going to come in the worst is second in the two or three that I might not win, I think, you know, we're a democracy. I think it's awfully hard to say that's not the person we want to lead the party, right? You know, it's very hard. But I really think that, I think it's a great question, David, because I really think that one of the biggest things that everybody is seeing happening, and everybody, is the Republican Party has become more dynamic. It's become more diverse. We're taken from the Democrats. We're taken from the independents. We have a lot more people. We have a lot more people. I mean, take a look at South Carolina. Look at the numbers. Look at the numbers from four years ago when nobody even wanted to waste their time and vote. And then you look at, the, I was there, and you had lines that went a mile long. And it was virtually more than doubled. So we have a very, very dynamic party. And I think we're going to be able to unify the party. I hope to be able to get along with everybody. I don't know Paul Ryan well, but I hope to be able to get along with him. I do know Mitch McConnell uh, a little bit, but I hope to be able to get along with him. But remember this, I have millions and millions and millions of people. This isn't like it's a close match. I mean, it's only too bad that winner didn't take all. Because if winner took all, this thing is over. We're just having a celebration. You know, we're having a celebration. So anyway, I, I would like to, look, I just want to end by thanking everybody. This has been an amazing period in my life. Uh, my wife just called, and, and Ivanka, as you know, is going to be having a baby very soon, and she's a special person, and it's going to be great, and we look forward to that. She's back in New York. She wanted to be here. They all wanted to be here, but they're with Ivanka now, and that could be certainly within the next week. But this has been an amazing period of time. It's been amazing for me, even from an educational standpoint. And I think, honestly, we've done something that almost nobody thought could be done. And I'm very proud of it. And I just want to leave you with this. I am a unifier. I would love to see the Republican Party and everybody get together and unify. And when we unify, there's nobody, nobody that's going to beat us. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.